Board of Education meeting is called to order. The Board of Education is in compliance with Chapter 231 of the Public Laws of 1975 entitled the Good Public Meetings Act. The time being location of this meeting is appropriately advertised by notifying the retrospect, as well as posted notices in the Borough Hall, Rugby Post Office, Zary Bolt School, Align Bengal School, Grace Downing School, and the Rugby Public School District website. Please rise and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call board members. Mr. Here. Here. Ms. Beebe. Here. Ms. Davidson. Ms. Trevick. Ms. Here. Ms. Murray. Here. Ms. O'Brien. Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Sean McCarran, Business Administrator, Director of Curriculum and Instruction, Ms. Gladys Hubbard, Director of Special Education, Mr. Frank Hines, Supervisor of Building and Grounds. At this time, I need a motion to approve the regular uh, education, regular Board of Ed meeting on August 16th. Thank you, Maria. Sorry. Second by Patty. Any questions? Roll call. There. Yes. Ms. Beebe? Ms. Beebe. Ms. Farrell? Yes. Mr. Murray? Wait. Mr. Bryan? Yes. Mr. Yes. Ms. Sands? Yes. Ms. Baldwin? Yes. We have five thousand. Okay. Vision passes. Um, nothing on the presentation or correspondence. At this time, we're open for public comments on agenda items only. Does anybody have any public comments on agenda items at this time? No? If not, then I'll guess the room is fine. Superintendent.
programming. And that's the woman who is presenting to parents. Okay. So she will be doing one of that right next as well. Um, her presentations are excellent and it's always a good feedback that we get from that attendance. Um, we did receive some scores from the JSLA data, as I said, shared with you guys before, and waiting for disaggregated data to be given to me, meaning like special education, um, ethnic groups, all those different things that have to be broken down before I present it to people. Um, as I told you before, we did see a decrease in 2022 scores from 2019 because we were coming off of COVID and that was the first time that we were tested again. What was interesting about these scores was the fact that we were back to our 2019 scores from 2023 percentage-wise of proficiency. The other factor that we are looking at is a board, it, as a board, no, sorry, as a district and with, with the teachers, is the fact that when you look at the proficiency level, you can get up to a five on um, the test scores, and four and five is proficient, below four is not proficient. When you look across third through eighth grade, in front of me, across ELA and math, on average, it's close to 35 to 45% of our students fall in the three category, which means that they're right on that borderline of passing. So that's one of the things that we are looking at as far as how we are making sure that we are serving the students that are right there at the cost of the proficiency to move forward. As I always say to you, when we look at test score data, though, um, unfortunately, we aren't given a pre-test. We're only given a post-test at the end of the year to see where those standards were. It doesn't, we don't have anything to look at as far as where they start. So comparing year to year, um, it's different standards that we're looking at. Comparing each grade from year to year, we're looking at different students. Um, info will be going out to parents in the next month regarding test score data for their individual students. Um, the business office, we are in the middle of our final reports and audits that are taking place, making sure that all the information in our student information system is updated because our October 15th snapshot is coming up. That is a statewide snapshot that they take to see our enrollment, our population, different demographics, and then that is what dictates, as I always talk about, our April budget as far as the numbers that we get. That October 15th snapshot revolves around everything. Um, and then also, as far as before and after care, food service, transportation, all those things are running. Um, as Mr. Arnucci said, it was definitely a, a close, a tight window with um, having the buildings ready and prepared and trying to make sure we have our permits and everything like that. But we were able to get everything done and it was definitely the last minute that we had uh, trucks being taken out of the school facilities and making sure that buildings were ready to be able to get those Mr. Arnucci was to have to and then as you know, you guys have stuff in front of you regarding um, upcoming events. Please make sure that you fill that out for New Jersey School Board Association. Um, I spoke with, we spoke last month with, um, looking at our board goals. The board, I'm going to say this last year, did a really overhaul on their board goals as far as really focusing on things you can work on as a board. Um, as a board, you guys have printed out your transcript also. Some of you have multiple pages as far as the trainings that you've attended. And on the back of that one sheet, it also shows the certifications you can. Um, school board day is coming up, so please make sure that if you are attending that, you just confirm that with me. And that's all I have. So, yes, but you also make sure that when you are confirming that, because um, that has to go back to him, um, so we can make sure everything is, you, you um, specify if you're attending the conference and what nights you will need a hotel accommodations for. Please, if you could. Uh, get that back to Dr. McCarran um, and then Dr. McCarran printed out this transcript for all of us because since it is one of our board goals to continue education um, so he noticed that some people are like real close like maybe one or one or a few two things away from like some certification so I would have to keep an eye on that so and on the upcoming events I also marked down what credit points you get for each one and also when you I think um, workshops have been posted. So when you look at it, the New Jersey School Board workshops, they do separate it out by credit. So if you're looking for something specific, it might be offered, and you can kind of just click in there. Any questions for Dr. McCarran? Okay, thank you. Principal's reports um, will then will be back in October. Uh, well, September drills and stuff will be back on that October gym. But the principals, nurses, building and grounds, special ed reports, any questions on those? No? Okay, I don't see any.
see any PTA members, but oh, where are we at? Hi, are you represent the PTA? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Hi, Rochelle. Um, we have a lot, I know you guys have a lot, I was just going to say, I know there's a lot going on, but I'm not the specific of any big, big, big things yeah, yeah. coming. Yeah, Maria, put you on the bus. Anything you can think of off the top of your head? A big events coming up or anything that you... That's fine. I just said the PTA did an excellent job of opening day, making sure that snacks and treats were set up for all the staff members. Um, and then also with the kickoff event, they were extremely helpful with getting the dad's house. Um, as business administrator, I turned to my dad and I It's all about the kids, not the kids. It's all about the kids. The children love to dance. So. Placements. Well, why? 
Is that like that in, that in scales more work on that solution? That's the problem. Well, 
I got outdoors. I got outdoors. It's love against them. Well, I, I don't just, need to play jam. I like the last one, so yeah. it's awesome. It's a nice event. Nice new, another nice new fun event for our town. Last one we estimated about 18 months. Yes. Um, it's great. So if we get anywhere near that. Um, while you're here, Mrs. Kelly, do you have any idea, since I often have an issue with this, on um, could you go back to Mayor and Council and make sure that you remind um, Mayor Capados for me that our schools don't get out till 3 o'clock? So when Runnymede is setting trick or treating times, it needs to be after 3 o'clock on Tuesday the 31st. In the past few years, he's put out something that said like 2 o'clock or earlier, and that's not feasible for our families who, A, who work, which the majority of our families do, and B, our children are still in school. So our school day does not end until 3 o'clock at the okay. elementary school level. So yeah, I, if trick or treating is hard after that. No, yes, yeah, and it's it's, all, it's always been rectified and fixed, but I don't like the borough to send something out and then have to send out like a change. So, okay. and after three, or three, it's like a trick or treat, away home. That's what I always do with my kid. That's what I did as a kid and with my kid, so, yes, but three o'clock. And then, of course, we'll have our big party then. Yes, yes. So it gives them time to trick or treat before the party. Anything else? No? All right, so like no executive session, like to, um, Ms. Ryanucci said, our next regular Board of Education meeting is October 18th. Need a motion to adjourn. Motion made by Patty. I need a second. Second by Angel. All in favor? Aye. Ayes have it. Meetings adjourned.